Good morning, Nick Midlands. I hope you are having a wonderful Wednesday so far. We woke up to those showers and thunderstorms. Maybe it even woke you up early this morning. Good news is that it's since pushed out into the Atlantic. Still got some low clouds out there, but once those clouds break up, the sun's going to come up and we are going to be heating up as we get into the afternoon, leading to a first alert weather day. The first of three here that we got coming up for the Midlands. And so today, tomorrow and Friday are first alert weather days as we are tracking those heat indices up to around 108 to 112. So just continue to take those precautions. If you're one of those unlucky people that have to work outside in this heat, make sure you try to find the shade to cool off. Find the AC that just drop that uh, body temperature a little bit every now and then make sure you can drink plenty of water to stay hydrated because you will be sweating out there because of the high humidity that we're going to be dealing with over the coming days. So let's take a look at just how hot it's going to feel each of the next few afternoons. We could top out at 108 this afternoon, 110 tomorrow and should push 109 for your Friday that is getting very close to heat advisory levels. I don't know if they'll necessarily issue one today, but do look out for heat advisories for your Thursday and Fridays. We'll likely get to those high numbers and be at those for an extended period to make it warranted to issue those heat advisories for your Thursday and Friday, but definitely still going to be quite hot and humid out there. You can see got that low cloud deck thanks to the morning rain, but we're beginning to get some sunshine to filter through. And once we can get these clouds to finally push out of the area and that sun comes out in real force, that is when those temperatures are going to really start to climb as we push into the afternoon. So we should make it all the way up to 96, feeling like again 108, so getting very hot and humid out there across much of the Midlands. Tonight going to be your typical summer night, a little warm and sticky, 74 for that overnight low with just some passing clouds across the region. And then taking a look at your 10 day forecast, it's just going to be more of the same as we just have this area of high pressure that is building in. And this is what's just going to continue to give us the extreme heat and humidity for the remainder of the work week as we get this northwest flow kind of just pumping in that heat from the west, making it into the upper 90s. Now, this high is also going to keep rain chances on the lower side. So we're only going to have that 20 percent for a straight pop up shower and storm this afternoon. And that likely continues into our Thursday as we push 98 for a high and even Friday. The high is still in control, pushing the heat our way, but you do see that front off to the north and west beginning to push into the Tennessee Valley. That'll then move into the Carolinas for this weekend, giving us a better chance for the rain and also helping to slightly bring down those temperatures, although it's still going to be quite hot and humid. So again, three first alert weather days for your Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Highs mid to upper 90s feel like temperatures 108 to 110 with rain chances on the lower side, just 20% for each of the next few days. Now, as that front gets closer, you can see for the weekend, those rain chances do unfortunately go up, up to about a 50% for those late day showers and storms, both Saturday and Sunday. Still going to be hot highs in the mid 90s. I know we got some events this weekend, the big soccer match, Man United coming to williams Bryce. It is possibly going to be on the wet side, so keep that in mind. And then as we get into next week, it's just your typical August like forecast, low the mid 90s each afternoon with the slight chance for some of those late day showers and thunderstorms. For all the latest, you can head over to WISTV.com. That's where you'll find the latest web article on the weather, plus what's going on in the tropics as we're still keeping a close eye on that as the National Hurricane Center is monitoring one disturbance that could at least head for the East Coast later on this week and into this weekend. So we'll be keeping you updated there so you can head over to WISTV.com for all the latest at that point and then don't forget that coming up in about a half hour's time, what's new this morning will be happening starting around 9 o'clock. So make sure you stay tuned for that.